Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, the channel. And uh, let's get this out of the way. Yes, um, I have a very scuffed microphone set up because the normal camera that I'm using right now, the camera on it sucks. Uh, well, not the camera, I mean the mic microphone on it sucks. So it is, um, yeah, it doesn't sound good. In fact, this is what it sounds like. So this is how the microphone on the normal little cheap action cam I have sounds like. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty scuffed, pretty scuffed. Um, so that's why I'm using a better camera, hence uh, this big, uh, big thing I have on me. Um, I know it doesn't look the greatest, but for now it will have to do. So, all right, let's get on with the video. So the whole purpose of this video is to kind of give three quick thoughts about um, the first race, first Formula One race in Bahrain. Um, and my glasses are getting foggy. Yes, they are. Um, first Formula One race in Bahrain. Just three quick thoughts. Um, I think I'll try to do one of these each week after every race. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, that should be pretty fun. And so, yeah, before we get started, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, really helps. Every single like, every single subscription uh, really helps out the channel. Um, as you can see, I am rather new to doing this. So, um, yeah, it's very awkward for me to be walking around the street and talking to a camera. So bear with me, guys. As I do this more and more, uh, I should get better at it and I shouldn't feel as awkward. But for now, I do feel a little bit, um, I don't know, nervous maybe. But nevertheless, let's just get started. So, the first observation, first thought I have was that this was a great race, right? A very, very great race. Um, just all throughout the entire race, you had battles up and down the field. You know, a lot of people like to focus on Hamilton and Vettel, but I think, you know, up and down the field, right? With Even with like Sainz, uh, Alonso and uh i believe seb great battles up and down the field even the um very back markers i like watching all the battles uh I, I, it really doesn't matter to me if people are first or fighting first or second or fighting for 17th still interesting a fantastic race um up and down the grid i think it's very hard to deny that um uh deny that kind of assertion but yeah, very fantastic, very fun race. Um, I think that, you know, um, a lot of controversy around the race, the results, uh, whether you liked or enjoyed the results or not, or you agreed with it or not, is not the point. I think the point was that it was a fantastic race, especially for me, who's still relatively new to Formula One. Uh, my second season watching the, the sport. Um, yeah, very exciting. And I am uh, looking forward to the next race at Imola. Now, the second observation that I have is that, well, not observation or just thoughts in general, is that, holy cow, um, three weeks until the next race? That's a long time. And again, bear with me, scuffed audio. And uh, my glasses are fogging up pretty loud. You see here in Brooklyn, uh, still part of New York City. A lot of people just think Manhattan is part of New York City, but Brooklyn, part of New York City, still a lot of uh, vehicular traffic. So bear with me on that one. Uh, yes, bear with me on that one. And uh, the audio again, I hope, hopefully it comes out fine. If it doesn't, then, well, I mean, that, that just sucks. I'll probably find a quieter place to do it next time. Um, but for now, this is what I have. But yeah, three weeks until the next race. Seems like a long time. Uh, I'm sure, ha you know, later in the season, they're going to, you know, week after week. But man, three weeks for the next race is quite a long time, in my opinion, at least, to wait for the next race. I'm very anxious, very uh, looking forward to the next race. And finally, my third observation is that, um, you know, the rookie, three rookie drivers... Sonoda, um, Schumacher, and Mazepin 
Uh, I'm very intrigued on how well they're going to do. Um, Tsunoda was excellent on Sunday. He had many overtakes. He drove very well and scored, you know, a couple of points. I mean, that's great. You know, I always thought Alpha Tauri this season was going to be good. And, uh, well, they are pretty good. So that should be, that should be um, interesting to do. Uh, or something, uh, something to that extent should be fun to watch. And then the two Haas cars, Mazepin and Schumacher, both of them, yeah, not the greatest. Um, a lot of people are going to rag on Mazepin, and yes, he is not the greatest guy in the world. Um, I don't think anybody is going to argue against that. I think um, that people are unfairly criticizing him for spinning. Um, the other day I watched a Lando Norris Twitch stream where he kind of went over the highlights of the race and he was explaining a lot of the technical things. Uh, I do encourage you guys to go watch his Twitch streams, very informative after the race. And he was talking about how, you know, for Mazepin following all those cars um, created so much dirty air and turbulent air and the crosswinds or whatever and stuff that essentially Mazepin you know, spun up because he had basically zero grip or something like that to that effect. So even Norris, Lando Norris said that, you know, it's very hard for him, especially with a bad car like Haas's car to really do anything. And uh, yeah, I mean, there you go, you know, uh, an explanation from F1 driver himself. So, you know, it's not some some guy on the Internet commenting. Um, and I mean, and look, the same thing happened to, to Schumacher. The only difference is that Schumacher managed to avoid the wall while Mazepin hit the wall. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, you're very intrigued to see what the three rookies are going to be up to. And I wonder if they're going to hit some sort of rookie wall. Um, for people who don't know what a rookie wall is, it is essentially when a rookie starts off the season doing really well. Um, but then halfway through the season or something like that, they, for some reasons, they just can't s seem to improve anymore and they l look like rookies. Um, it happens in a lot of American sports like football, basketball and stuff. So I wonder if uh, somebody like Sonoda or Schumacher or Mazepin, you know, they, will, will they hit a rookie wall, right? So that would be interesting to watch as well. And so, yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, that's it. I mean, these are my three thoughts on uh, the race, uh, on the Bahrain Grand Prix, and what I've observed as a new Formula One fan, a relatively new Formula One fan. Um, I'm looking forward to the next race at Imola. Um, and again, I'm sorry if the video quality or the audio is super scuffed because, you know, this is my first time really doing this type of video, vlogging, I guess, and I didn't know how to set it up properly. Um, still working on stuff. Um, so, you know, I kind of expect it to not be the greatest, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, you never know. Um, obviously I'll try to improve as I do this more and more and yeah, hope you guys can continue supporting me or if you're new, you can support me, you know, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Um, I will get better at doing this again, new to this, kind of nervous. I don't, you know. You know, yeah, but yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.